Welcome back, FHS. It's Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. I'm Alec Burke, and this is Night's Watch. For lunch today, your choices are taquitos, pizza calzone, Night's Chicken Bowl, teriyaki chicken sub, and salad bar. BKTV would like to wish a happy birthday to Ethan Watkins, Caleb Thompson, Samantha Rawson, and our very own BKTV news producer, Carter Klusmeyer. Happy birthday from BKTV, and don't forget to get your birthday selfie with Dr. Lamans. We do have one other sports announcement. There will be a meeting in the Black Knight Fieldhouse on Friday, October 16th, during seminar for all boys in grade 9 through 12 who are interested in playing basketball this year. What's up, Night Nation? I'm Charlie Hauser, and welcome to, F welcome to Night Show Spotlight, your insight to all FHS athletics. Our freshman JV and varsity volleyball teams will host crosstown rivals, the North County Raiders, at 4.30, 5.30 and 6.30. Let's get a big crowd out to support the Knights. What's up FHS? My name is Raymar reporting from BKTV Studios and it's almost picture day here at FHS. No, no, what do you guys mean? This is picture day we're talking about. You know, it's not just another day at school. Later in life, when people look back on their yearbooks, this is how you're gonna be remembered. Seniors especially, don't you wanna look good? Yeah, now that's more like it. Now, let me show you why it's so important to be here and look good on picture day. Is this how you guys want to be remembered? Try and guess who this teacher is. Try. This, this is Miss Southern. The hat, the hair. This, this is just golden, right? The mullet, the mustache, everything. This one, this one's Mr. Northern. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta say, Sergeant Heflin. I was just rocking the suit and sunglasses. The haircut too is just mm, perfect. Come on. I, I know you guys do not want to be remembered like Mr. Lamb here. This one's Mr. McIntyre, right? Do I even need to say anything? Okay. I mean, the hair says it all. And trust me, there's plenty more where that came from, right? Like this one, this, or this. You guys probably don't want your school pictures to look like that, so make sure you write down this next part so you can be prepared for picture day. October 14th, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will take their school pictures in the Fieldhouse lobby from 7.45 to 1. Virtual students, you guys will get your pictures taken October 20th from 4 to 7 at the Daisy Baker Learning Center. And finally, seniors, our pictures will be taken on November 23rd. And remember, you guys are going to reminisce on these pictures later in life. So please be here to ensure that you have a good picture to look back on. And be careful, because you don't want your pictures to turn out like these. Because we can't have a club sign-up day in the gym this year, BKTV has been working with the Activities Office to produce commercials for each of our clubs. We will air two of these a day. All the commercials will be posted on our YouTube channel and emailed out to all FHS students soon. Yesterday we highlighted FCA and Speech and Debate. Today we will hi highlight FBLA and Theater Guild. Check it out. We are here to represent Future Business Leaders of America, or FBLA. FBLA and its college counterpart, Phi Beta Lambda, together make the largest student business organization in the world. Joining our local chapter would provide you with many opportunities to help you become the best leader you can be. FBLA is both a service organization and a competitive organization. Throughout the years, we participate in local and national service projects. In the winter, we begin competitive events. FBLA's competitions progress through district, state, and national levels. You don't have to know much about business to, to do competition. A lot of the events are very easy. Normally, there are travel opportunities involved, but that will obviously be different this year. In the past, our members have traveled to places like Chicago, Denver, and San Antonio for conferences. FBLA offers members the opportunity for individual growth and recognition through BAA's Business Achievement Awards and CSA's Community Service Awards. You can earn these levels quickly by comp completing simple tasks and community service and they look great on college applications. This organization is great for everyone. It is especially helpful for those hoping to, pr to pursue a career in the business field, but it fosters skills that are useful in every profession. FBLA has something for everyone. You can join FBLA by simply bringing your $10 membership dues to room 204 in the business hallway, Mrs. Pierce, by October 18th. Make sure you have an envelope with your name on it. Checks can be made out to Farmington FBLA. You can always check our display board in the business hallway near the bathrooms for updates. And feel free to contact one of the officers if you have any questions. Join us at our next meeting Friday, October 9th in room 109 during seminar. The Theater Guild is a great opportunity to be a part of something larger. We produce shows in the fall and spring, with every other year being a musical. Kids will learn problem-solving skills, 
how to collaborate, and make lots of new friends. The Theater Guild really gave me an opportunity to open up and grow as a person. It's definitely one of the reasons I've made so many friends. It allowed me to express who I really am. It gave me a chance to be me. We're looking for anyone passionate about being involved in theater. You know, it's not just about acting. There are a lot of things you can be involved in. Tech, props, makeup, costumes, set building. There's a lot of opportunity to be involved. We meet about once a month in Mays Nielsen's room. The best way to sign up for Theater Guild is to fill out the form in your email. We're really looking forward to this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. My biggest piece of advice is to get involved. 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 Get involved! Heads up to any students interested in participating in the Scholar Bowl. There will be a meeting in room 109 after school on Tuesday, October 20th. Seniors, a representative from Illinois Wesleyan University, will be available to speak with any interested students during seminar in the LMC on Friday, October 16th. Please sign up in the doc linked below if interested. If you want to know more about the latest scholarships that the FHS Counseling Center has received, visit the link in the description below or check out the FHS College and Career website. That's it for this episode of Night's Watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.